Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So you guys, I'm gonna do this video a little different. It's gonna be a story time. I hope you guys don't mind. So if you guys haven't seen this video, it's because you guys haven't subscribed. So subscribe for more videos, you guys. So this story time is gonna be about the time I knew I was ready. No, guys, it's not gonna be that time. Sorry. Um, it's gonna be the time I knew I was ready to have another child. My second child, to be exact. So this story and story time i hold it very dear to my heart because it's a time where it was very precious to me and i decided to share it with you guys because i don't know i want to see if someone out there has the same like s some some somewhat similar story of what i'm about to tell you guys so i remember this story so clear of course because it was so memorable so my daughter was i believe three at the time so she was three years old at the time right so I remember I had to do, I had to be washing like different stuff in the sink for my mother-in-law. So I, as I was doing that, I would um, bring different activities for my daughter to do. Like I would take coloring stuff and like puzzles and I would take my tablet so she could see like movies and toys of course and like different things so she could do. She was a very like, she was a very needy baby like I said she needed me there. To be with her at uh, to do like the things she wanted to do so i remember that day someone came to help me because they knew that she was bored or whatever so they came to help me right so they came to help me and they took her they took her upstairs because at that time i was in the basement or whatever so they came to help me or whatever and um i remember that i finished my four hours and i don't know i just started um i just started cleaning up her toys and that was the time where i knew i was ready picking up my daughter's toys it was so crazy because as i was picking up her toys i was like feeling i don't know how to explain it you guys it was this beautiful beautiful feeling of of me thinking and feeling like i was ready to have another child it's crazy because in the beginning i wanted to have like so many kids so when i had my daughter i for sure wanted to be ready like i didn't want to have it within a year because i didn't know like i wanted to spend time with my first for my with my first child so i don't want to go too fast in having kids so um i remember that she was three at the time and it just like literally came the feeling literally came to me and i was like i'm ready i'm ready to have another child and to me my daughter was ready as well because my little girl since she was like two she could talk perfect like she would tell you everything she needed like she was an express she's such an expressive little girl like she could tell you straight up what she's feeling like of, of course not like an adult you know not like a little like you know like as a little kid so yeah i remember that she would you know we were we would communicate so much we were always together everybody that's how everybody would always see us and yeah guys that's the moment i knew i was ready to have another child <laughs> and also i wanted to like start having a family like start like growing my family because i hear a lot of stories where you take a long time to get pregnant like within a year like you don't just say you want to get pregnant and then you get pregnant within like a month or so you get pregnant you know it takes a while so i was like you know let's might as well start now because it's the baby's gonna take a long time to cook <laughs> to cook in the oven so i decided that it was time so it came time it was about this story i wanted to tell you guys about the story now because two years ago exactly like around this time i took out my iud sorry for the tmi guys and yeah that's when um it all it all began to grow i was it's a scary feeling because once you know you're not protected you feel like you could get pregnant within a week or so but and then you start like feeling different things but i remember that me like within january passed and then like it was around february like the beginning of february i was already feeling guys like i was feeling with my first daughter i was already feeling like i was pregnant and it was so crazy because i was like it's not possible like a month passed by it's not possible and next thing you know guys i took a pregnancy test and it, it confirmed everything that i was the thing was that, you know, you're not going to know um, for sure 100% until you go to a doctor. For me, it's not even the doctor that's confirming it. It's until I see the heartbeat, like in the ultrasound. To me, that's when I feel like, oh, like, OMG, you know, you're going to have a baby. I'm pregnant. We're pregnant, you know. And so it was pretty crazy because that's, that's how it happened. And it's just so amazing, like, seriously so amazing. 
like there was a point when my son was barely born that I was like I'm done having kids I you know in the beginning I said that I wanted six to eight kids but then I was like you know what I don't want no more kids I feel like it's perfect the way it is like my daughter and my son you know the little pair I feel like I'm done but recently guys no I'm not pregnant no 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 I'm not pregnant but it's so crazy because recently i've been feeling the same feeling that i felt with my daughter that same feeling that i told you guys where i was cleaning up her stuff which is crazy you're cleaning up like junk and toys and you all of a sudden feel like you want another kid like why why would you want to have another kid if you're cleaning up toys but it's crazy because my little boy he's a little very curious little boy like he's he's so goofy curious like I don't know, it's just crazy because he, the little boy, goes everywhere. Like, he doesn't, like, my little daughter, my daughter was shy. Like, she wouldn't touch stuff just to touch it. She would, like, I don't know, she just would be shy about it. She would, like, she wouldn't want to make a mess, basically. And um, my son, he, he honestly doesn't care. He could grab everything. He's just so curious and goofy, basically, guys. He's He goes everywhere and, and he touches anything. You tell him no, he'll do it again. He thinks it's hilarious. Bueno, anyway, Sophie lo va a limpiar. Ajá. Sí. Stephen, por favor, ya no hagas más, please. The mess I'm talking about. He threw all this. That. And I just put all this back in here. So, I see him doing all that mess. And recently, I felt that feeling where my son was destroying literally the kitchen. He was opening all the cabinets and taking out all the stuff. Taking out all the recycling stuff. And I felt that same joy I felt with, with um, when I was picking up my daughter's toys. I felt that same joy of, of having more kids. And I was like, well, you know, not right now because my son's barely one. He just turned one in October. But I was like, you know what? I am gonna have more kids. I felt like I was done, but you know what? I, I do want more kids because, like, seriously, being a parent, or not even a parent, but a mother, especially a stay-at-home mom, is the most, like, the most hardest thing, but most precious thing ever. And it's crazy because my daughter, she's basically the second mom of my son because when I'm doing something, not exactly, like, important, but when I'm doing something, she always watches over him. When my little baby, my, my son... God really wanted to test all my patience with him because that little boy, like, when he was just born, he would cry the whole day, guys. I'm not even kidding you guys. He would cry the whole day. I I don't even know what it was. He would just cry. And I feel now that he was bored, honestly, because now he's a very, like, he needs to be, like, running. He's one and he already wants to run. Like, relax, boy. You're just learning how to walk and you already want to run. You already want to freaking, like, you know? He wants to carry heavy stuff, and he, the little boy, is crazy. And, and yeah, my daughter's always watching over him. She hears him cry. She'll do anything so he can stop crying. She calls him, she calls him, it's, um, mi, mi amor, as in my love. She calls him, mi tesoro. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's so cute hearing them and seeing them. Because they're, they're, like, honestly best friends. Like, for real, they're the best friends. And I love it that they are best friends because... You know, why, why wouldn't you want your kids to, you know, to love each other? And especially right now that they're kids and knowing that it's a boy and a girl, I would think that they wouldn't get along. But, you know, they, like, freaking, like, play so much together. And I love, I love, love, love seeing them playing. And, yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys want to hear more story times, I have way more story times to tell. So if you guys want to hear these, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more of me and my family. Thank you, guys.